Icon Radio. Karibuni, everybody, you're on the stage with Sandra and DJ AKA um, on Icon Radio. So in studio, you guys, today, I told you guys last week that um, me, I'm a guy who just curates fun vibes is the moral of the story. <laughs> that is the that is the conclusion of my lifestyle. But now, um, it's a bit of an intense conversation we're going to have initially before we get into the inappropriate and awkward moments of, of with my guests in studio today. So we've got the phenomenal, nice Gidinji. Hey. Uh-huh. <laughs> and sir, legendary sir, sir. Nick Ndeda. Uh, thank you for getting my name right. Uh, who, do, do people misspell it? All um, the pre- time. Pronounce all it. the time. How? Ndenda. Apparently. Oh <laughs> they add for your next letter. Just receive it. Receive those blessings. Mm-hmm. They're adding, I rebuke. They're adding. I refuse. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> They're adding positive things into your life. So you guys have a really epic um, project you've been working on. This is that's true. That's now out. Yep. Midnight Van. Mm-hmm. Um that I believe, okay, let me just tell, let, let me tell the guys where all this started from. So, my boss, quote unquote, um, sends a screenshot to our presenting group. She's like, Sandra, we have to speak to these guys. And I'm like, Mom, I, so you just, I don't know, I need a better heads up. Like, what's up? Mm-hmm. So, I go onto your Facebook. I did a bit of stalkerization and I was like, okay, 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 okay. Then I was like, yes, 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 yes. When, 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 when so I, I thought this was actually going to happen next week. Then she was like, actually, I think they can come in and shoot today. So, I was like, you kidding me so i started doing the whole starting to understand okay i can i'm just going to freely publicly state this <laughs> i'm really much um around like the music industry a lot um film the, the 254 not really like it's one of the like you know the big highlights you know you know kinatosh ninini you know them from other things <laughs> but you know them so i started like to like to do the research and stuff and i was like you're actually quite elite in this mm. in that industry for the record Elite. just no, no, in case you don't know less about the word and the actually quite elite yes mm-hmm. because you thought no 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 i had no that's, but, but that is to suggest no 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 no, no 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 i beg <laughs> Like, so I'm just, I don't know, I was, I was quite blown away. And then, um, like with your, you know, like skill level talent and what you guys have been able to put out there over the years. And, um, then I was sent the media kit for Midnight Van and I was like, oh my goodness, this is, and we were speaking about this earlier on when you're off air. This is the first time it's a movie that's supposed to be about the politics, but it's not about the politics. It's about everything else that goes on, um, when there's political wahalas happening all around us and i think it's for the first time and i could be wrong with this but you know correct me if i'm if mm-hmm. i'm wrong yeah um where we're having a depiction of the human state during mm-hmm. political season and you know and issues that come around during election years within african states specifically yeah. kenya yeah. it's the first time no yeah. which i think is ridiculously impactful ridiculously impactful because <laughs> and please this is just my personal assumption people always forget we get so caught up in the rilers and the so and so and in the in the in the opposition and blah blah and we make everything about them and we forget everyone else and everyone else is actually the ones who matter yep you know what i mean because they're the ones who woke up at four in the morning with the voting card went to vote then <laughs> stuff hit the fan then now they're the ones who you know are homeless blah blah you know going through all this stuff and the person who we, and and most of the other films and culture that has ever been put out there they just focus on the root of the problem and not the people who the problem is the, the, con- where, the ones who are experiencing the consequences mm-hmm. of the problem okay. was that intentional it was pretty intentional mm-hmm. however i won't say that we sat down and develop the story with that in mind really i was going through a situation during covid okay and okay. i needed to create something you know last year okay it was really it was a depressing moment yes yes, right? yes 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 and so i hit this boy i'm like hey i know you have some scripts somewhere somewhere <laughs> can you just send some things over i feel like creating something so he sent a couple i think two or three okay and then i just zoned it on me or zoned in on midnight van okay and i thought it was a beautiful thing so initially we had more than three more than two characters now yeah. there's only two oh characters. really but then we thought first of all because we are self-funding let's make it tighter <laughs> 
so that it's just me and him acting. So that yeah. no one is being paid, it's me and him not paying. Each other, okay, you know I mean? okay, okay. But also, we wanted to be a little experimental and and wondered whether we can make the audience feel that there's other people without really seeing them. <gasps> other people, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So Got most you. of the work was done with Nick Dada for sure. By Nick wow. Dada. Yeah. So you just have scripts just chilling. Ah, uh, yeah. Writer, just... writers are weird. No, no, but I'm like they write when they're bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are you chicken on a board? Well, because it's weird. It's how um because when I when I wrote Midnight Van, it yeah. was, I remember it was the first draft I wrote in two days. It's because I started thinking about when I used to work on radio. Okay. Every election year. We, we actually used to use the phrase, oh, guys, it's silly season again, because everyone becomes so silly. We forget about how we're friends, yeah, partners, yeah, 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 and yeah, it yeah. just becomes tribal lines. You're with these people, exactly. you support this person. So every single time it would happen, 2007, 2013, 2017, yeah, 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 yeah. was it? And so I thought about it a lot, so much so that the ending, and this is what I love the most about being a writer, if the ending of the, of the story comes to me, everything else works out. So the You're first kidding. thing I thought of was the ending for Midnight Van and I was like, okay, how do we go from there and start this thing? So Yo. I remember I wrote it all of uh, an, an entire Tuesday, did not sleep, wrote it all into Wednesday, got into Wednesday afternoon. I finished it, I read it and then I shut my laptop and then I forgot about it. I'm sorry, Completely. what? But it was, you know, <laughs> the reason why I forgot about it was because, like, I was going through a lot of other things. So okay, it's, okay. Just, it's just one of those scripts that I forgot that I had. And then yeah. when Nice told me, I was like, oh, Midnight Van, I was like, I, I honestly didn't think it was, it was as, in, well, the first draft, first drafts are never amazing. <laughs> but they, at least the idea is always the, Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. So when now Nice and I started talking more about it, I was like, okay, actually, this story can really be it can really be crafted in yeah. a way that'll bring out the exact thing because the thing i wanted the most was just to show people that whenever election time comes around we are always we're always so susceptible to to randomness yeah, i think yeah, yeah. i think i think we really we really just let anything carry us the Agreed. euphoria of um of these rallies that they do <laughs> i mean it's it's so it's so strange that People get so swept away in that mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the point you will put aside logic and everything. And everything else, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. Yeah. And maybe that's, that's probably, I think, the... Like you, like you've rightly said, it's like the saddest part. Like logic goes out the window. Completely. Even right now, with everything we're, we're witnessing, like every time I get on, okay, I watch my news on Instagram, Citizen Channel. That's because I'm like I can't commit to the TV because the likelihood of me throwing something is high. Uh -huh. So I'm like, let me just see the quick, you know, the wrap up. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because it, the development is going to kill my, it's going to kill me slowly. Um, and even now, because that's what I do. So I get on there and I'm just like, yo. Who did what? Mm -hmm. Who said what? Mm -hmm. I'm like, my guys, why was there? I'm like, even especially when I see um, press conferences mm -hmm. and all these media houses have gone and somebody is talking absolute nonsense and you're sitting there thinking, you, you left your office in a van, you put fuel, you carried mm -hmm. your videographer, you carried mics to go and listen to and record and then come back and post it. And I think that's also part of what you guys um, were trying to achieve with this in terms of like um, the role that media plays Yes. when it comes to politics. Because I think we feed, and even right now, and this is I think for the first time in, in, in where I'm like, this is the first time I'm experiencing the media, the Kenyan media specifically, mm -hmm. not taking politics seriously. Like they're also about the Cash hype in. and the, you know what I mean? Because, uh, because I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, for you to, on nine, prime time, your first news story is, um, so the Angirita who stole millions from NYS is now running for office in Nakuru and decided to move back to Jubilee. What are you saying? Like, yeah, <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Like, in my back of my mind, I'm like, your a whole editing team, all the all those people, like, this is what you guys thought, nine or two, this is what you should start with. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I'm like, this is actually just offensive at this point. Again, it's a cash-in season, silly season mm -hmm. and also cash-in <laughs> season. Like, this is when we make the most money exactly. real quick. I need to finish that. But it's well. just, it's so hard. irresponsible. It's not irresponsible. To some extent, I feel like we have been, f um, like we were just saying right before yeah. the show started, 
unfortunately, we all grew up being told hard work pays, hard work pays, yes, right? Yes, yes. And we'd see that from our parents. Yes. Mm-hmm. But we stopped seeing hard work paying. Now we see quick money. We see our, our you know, age mates making money in two days. People <laughs> yeah. So you see there with your hard work, you're thinking, I, why should I bother? Yeah. yeah. Bother, right? So it's less irresponsibility and more how we how the society has now become what's hard work nah i'm you know, no. and it's not even about working smart just work quick make it make, mm-hmm. it, make it quickly so how do you explain yourselves um because uh, uh-huh, you bo- you've worked hard we are still working uh-huh. hard. yes um just so you know like, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't start acting like last week i've been doing this for like 18 years no, but, that's, but that's what i'm saying so i'm yeah. like i understand your argument yeah. but there's a level of responsibility you guys are also carrying as yourselves this is true you know what i mean so you can't you can't tell me that you're just the exception to the rule we I will call myself an exception and mm-hmm. I think my circle, my friends and the people I'm around because I believe there's something important about being intentional about what you are Agreed. what you're reading, 100%, what you're listening to, 100%, the people you're around, 100%. The things you consume. And the minute you're intentional about things like that, sooner or later you become this person. No, 100%, but yeah. that's, that's 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 what I'd like it. to see the media do. Mm-hmm. We were there before, those days of Kathleen Kasavulin and in, in those integrity. Yeah. Now I'm like... Fam, what, what what are you sitting and reporting? Anyway, let's get into some music before because clearly we'll go on and on and on and on. DJ AK, take us away. You guys, you're on the stage. Catch you in a few minutes. Icon Radio, your number one entertainment plug. Welcome back, guys. You're on the stitch with Sandra and DJ AKA on Icon Radio. That's Icon Radio KE on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Um, I'm on Icon Radio code with KE. Now, guys, so we're talking. Huh? Nice and, and Nick. Actually, mm-hmm. but they, hey, look, and then yeah. sorry, right. <laughs> <Nice and Nick>. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a whole moment. Um, so we're talking about like the media aspect, even on your even on 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 on, on Midnight Van. Um, the two main characters, the only characters, as you put it, mm-hmm. are they work for Media House. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the synopsis of what's happened is they've just missed the last. This political violence has erupted. Um, studio is working. Studio is skeleton crew. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, then now the last van that's supposed to come and get them, they missed it. Mm-hmm. So they're the only two are left in office. Everybody's out, yep. and there's just mayhem going on outside. Do you yep. know what I mean? The yes. So it's like it's 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 one of those situations. Mm-hmm. Um, and even in that, what what I found very interesting in like in the understanding like in the, in the plan of the play is in, in uh, of, of Midnight Run is that it's not as much as there are media there are media personalities and news anchors and so on their story is very little to do with them being news anchors and working for the media house it's everything mm-hmm. about their personal issues you know what I mean from um, your character Martha yes she's um <laughs> married, no kids, stressed out about that. You know what I mean? Um, overachieving and over aiming because she's now next to this fellow who isn't such good vibes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And on air it looks pretty, mm-hmm. but off air they're just it's constant competition and just yeah. fighting. Yeah. And then now individual individually as well, because of all the expectations um that each person has of themselves and everybody around them, there's all this and un- and un- like sort of like underlying pressure like you can just feel tension mm-hmm. constantly mm-hmm. you know before even they have their little like, sexual encounter blah blah goes on there's all this tension uh, just between the two of them brought on by other external issues that has nothing to do with their actual job titles yeah. right yeah. um and is that when you were writing this play actually nick um mm-hmm. is that something you have experienced or something you had witnessed? Um, mostly, mostly witnessed. Uh, I've witnessed that a lot in because I uh, I don't know whether it's a privilege or not, but <laughs> I've I've had the opportunity to work in like four different media houses. Okay, and it's interesting how the dynamics never really change. There will always be a lot of I always notice a lot of sexism. I'll always notice a lot uh-huh. of undercutting people, uh, backstabbing. There's yes, always yes, yes, yes. there is always the people who some people feel. Mm, doesn't deserve that position but somehow they got it maybe because they're a guy maybe it's because they did something with the boss like you know all these things and and 
they, they don't even just exist in the realm of media. This is in almost yeah. every workspace. Yeah, 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 yeah. So one of the things that I wanted to do was bring out something that is um, almost universally um, recognizable. Okay. It doesn't. Okay. You don't have to work in a media house to be like, oh, that's how people get treated. Yes. I'm sure even someone who works in a hospital, yeah, someone who works thing. in a school, yeah. they experience it to a certain degree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which I think was really impactful and important because you get on the story and you're assuming that this is about the politics yeah. and then you find yourself relating to the two characters and I say both of them because a lot of times as well even I understand you know by default we're supposed to be like okay I should be able to relate to the female and then my mm. cousin who's a boy should be able to relate to the, to the but I like the fact that both characters there was qualities in the two of them that you could you could recognize just on a human level on you know what I mean level, just yes. on a human level and I think that was really really important to be able to tell because it I think it also makes it for the viewer to be able to have like a self-reflection moment and be like uh-uh I assume that because I have you know this specific body parts I'm supposed to be like this and this was supposed to, but I like the fact that I was able to sit there and be like oh my goodness mm -hmm. I can recognize qualities and characteristics in myself like the male character, like the female character, which then makes you have to rethink and sort of like pause back and be like, okay, as myself, what am I doing as an individual? Mm -hmm. What decisions am I making as an individual that are having consequences exactly. for everybody around me and, and, you know, sort of like that are impacting the lives of others mm -hmm. in a positive or in a negative way yeah. because it can be either or, depending. Yeah, well, funny you say that because one of our biggest themes in the show is introspection and it's because okay. of that. Okay. It's interesting you caught that. Okay, yeah? okay. Because we... we, we <laughs> We forget to sit down and wonder what am I doing wrong? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. yes, 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 yes. Sandra didn't do. You need to sit down and wear. You know this this thing we keep saying we're cutting people off. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because you don't want to deal with you're who canceled. we are. You're cancelled. Yeah, we don't want to deal with who we are. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yes, introspection is big on the film because I think it's something as Kenyans we need to start doing as uh, sooner or later. Agreed. We are going Agreed. a bad way real fast. Agreed. No, I completely agree, yeah. and you can see it even just yeah. last week. As um, I don't know if you guys saw the story of the KCC student who killed the taxi guy, um, you know, and then now came and confessed, I think it was like a week and a half later or something. And I remember in, in like in my conversation on the show last week, I was saying, you guys, there's, there's clearly a gigantic problem <laughs> mm -hmm. with, the, with the mental state of our country and this this cuts across the board mm. you know what i mean it's yeah. like it's not limited to age or gender it's for me it's, it's cutting across the board because everybody is wilding man yeah. and wilding because and i think maybe you're right in, in in what you're saying in terms of like um everyone is on this quick reach you know plan and you know there's there's a, like um an undertone of constant like um using other people for something else mm -hmm. that, you know what i mean and it's it's become so massive right now in this country it was always there i mean obviously you know you knew like ah let me just tell this border guy to fikisha me here then i'll get off the board and i don't have the hundred more but i'll sort it you know i'll sort it you know like there's always been those kind of things but i feel like right now it's so scary to have an interaction with anybody because you're genuinely nervous that there's there's something they want there's from something you they want outside yeah. of just your level of awesome you know what i mean yeah. and that i think that 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 energy that vibe is so unhealthy because it's creating so many um bizarre and extreme reactions because by the mm -hmm. time you now start to actually see how far you've gone and taken it as a person with like the wrong you've done mm. or the right that you've done or the right you think you've done but is actually wrong mm you then start to crumble and we've seen it in a lot of different situations you know what i mean people are like you know like hurting others and like and like physically hurting others um, you know like, like it's extreme well we're, we're, in my head i keep saying i'm like we're living in the age of extreme right now Kenya. like everything is just the most yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> like there's no you know what i mean yeah. um and i feel like that's what even with the characters of the uh, 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 on midnight van they had to have they've obviously had to go through this journey within that time when they were locked in that um, office. And outside of their personal relationship of trying to figure out why do I hate you, why do I hate you, even in now having to reflect and understand that maybe because of the way I am and the issues I've got going on that I'm not dealing with actively, that now I'm being forced to address, 
is why my reactions or people's reactions towards me are like this mm. because it's mm. it's coming from me i'm the one who's giving off this into the universe mm. the universe is, is bringing it back yeah. and in my head everybody else is against me but it's like no no <laughs> you're the common denominator here so you need to figure out what's happening with you you know what i mean sure. so and i like that because also just as a what's the word for it it's sort of like the opposite of in terms of the, the politics because as much as it's not centered around the politicians i feel like to a certain extent that's a bit of a hint in terms of the political states or politicians in general because like you internally what you've got going on is affecting everyone around you allow me to negate that real quick yeah it's less of it has again i say for once it's not about the politicians yeah yeah while i negate that point is they are businessmen <laughs> they're trying to put food on their table. Yes. You can't blame them from try, for trying to put food on the table. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're not living by their oath. Okay? Yeah. So it has, again, nothing to do with them. It's everything to do with what we hear. How do we take it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How yeah, do yeah, we, yeah. How do we extrapolate information when it gets to us? Yeah. So again, I get, forget about the politicians. It's not about them. They're going to do what they're going to do, whether we like it or not. Yeah. It's mm. up to us and how we choose to deal with things that's going to change things. Yeah, exactly. but then but then their methods are specifically to but manipulate that situation. If we don't follow them. Right. No, of course, of right. course. So that's what I mean. So Okay. If, yeah. I always cuz I always feel like the um, the reason why I think um, the system of election time always works is because it worked once or twice and then it became expected and then yeah. it became the norm oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. but if you change the mindset because there's, we all have one or two or three or many, I hope, friends who <laughs> whenever election times come so they'll, they will sit down and they will tell you like yo, come on guys, what are we doing? Why are you doing this? And those are the people who are always shut down real quick like ah, you, you don't even have a voter's card yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, it's not about that, Listen, Listen to what people, sometimes you just have to take a step back and look at the situation from the outside and be like, come on. Yeah. This is so, ridiculous. Yeah. So is it their methods, okay, their methods are there, mm. but they don't have to work. No, of course they don't, yeah. but, that, but that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, the, the, the methods that they're using is specific for a reason, because mm. it gets the job done, mm. what they're trying to achieve, mm. right? Yes. And and that's what, and, and so the point I'm trying to make is with even with with the characters of Midnight Van, they were they've been using certain methods to get what they needed to get done within their jobs, within their relationships. You know, let's smile and be nice on air, and then off air, ah, I can't stand this guy. You know what I mean? But but that's that's a that's a method you're using to be able to maintain your job, what you're trying to. You understand what I'm trying, what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And in that space, um, with them, you know, sort of like with the characters as well, um. It's it's why 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 I'm highlighting that is because we need to acknowledge the fact that as you rightly said, media as well does play the part in trying to in in, in celebrating the methods being used. You get what I mean? And what then what then that does is it's very difficult to change somebody's mind if still the thing that they sit and watch seven and nine PM every single day. Because the masses that's what they do. Seven and nine, everyone is at it's news time. Even as kids growing up, you remember. After mm-hmm. news is when you're being sent to bed. But nine o'clock Kifika, death silence in the sitting room, you're all looking at the TV consuming whatever is being sold to you. So, and that hasn't changed. That has absolutely not changed. You know what I mean? The only thing that's changed now is now we've got vernacular stations who are doing exactly the same thing to just rally the message further. It's programmed. Which is what, but you understand what I'm trying to say? So that, it's dangerous because there's no sense of responsibility anymore. Mm. You understand? Yeah. They're just, what this, if, if I don't know, because so-and-so owns this media house and they're affiliated with this party, the agenda of that party, you're being given, a, and I'm sure you guys, you worked in media. During political there's a time your producer would come with what a script that you were supposed to say. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent. You know what I mean. You couldn't. Ha- you couldn't air your person. You don't air your personal opinion on the situation. You've been told this is what you need to say. Every two um, two takes. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I legit. I keep saying I find integrity absolutely attractive, <laughs> and I am so attracted to John Alan Namu because I think at some point he got tired. He got tired. Mm-hmm. He was like, I'm had enough. Peace, I'm out. Do you know? <laughs> And if one person can do it, I think yes. more can. Yes, yeah. 100%. No, 100%. Stop being scared of being uncomfortable. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. No, I come, and that, that the, the same element, I, I, 
even on my show, if you guys, I'm gonna make you guys now go and start listening. Okay. Half the time here, my bosses are like, fam, you know, you can't, like, how can you say something like that? I'm like, you guys, listen, the worst, the worst possible thing that could happen is some goons are going to show up at my house and threaten me. But I'm like, I can't consciously just agree to just say things politically correct or whatever because that's what makes everybody else happy no mm -hmm. if this is wrong it's wrong it is what it is so the worst thing that could possibly happen is that and even if that happens ah, then that means i'm clearly doing something right because i've worked enough feathers which would be the point in my humble opinion mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what i mean i'm like that that should be the point yeah. so i like that you even said that and, and that's what i was trying to say like that that level of integrity is missing mm -hmm. you know what i mean 100 percent. and i love the fact that on minute van at least that's one of the things you're trying to get the characters to sh to realize within themselves for their personal like lives mm -hmm. and also with how they operate with each other mm -hmm. and within that space yeah. and then at the end of it come out a better human being sure. to serve as a global citizen yeah. you know what i mean in the best way possible mm -hmm. yeah okay anyway so let's just get into some music my god we're having such i'm having such moments <laughs> let's get into some music you guys with dj aka we'll come back wrap up with my guests before we get into my character development topic of this week my guys hey like in the girl dems of nairobi y'all have decided kuchoma mna choma sawa icon radio Welcome back, guys. You're on the stage with Sandra and DJ, a.k.a. We still have um, Nice and Nick with me. Um, so, guys, listen, I want to give you guys... The, um, I'm going to let them tell you of the plans. But me, my partner, Naomba too, Kirosafi. When they do that, that 100 bob that you're going to buy, I don't know, Smokey with after the club. Just don't. You're going to send some money somewhere, you guys, to help us put this project together. Kindly, politely. I am <laughs> humbly requesting. Um, yeah, so guys, tell me. So, when are we shooting? Would you like to start? Uh, so, we're looking to shoot uh, uh -huh. before, tentatively, like, by the end of April. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, editing and such, and we have to dub this film into, like, nine different languages. Because... Sure! Yeah, the plan is... We want as many Kenyans to watch this before elections as possible. Yeah. So, we, so go we should end of April, early May, mm -hmm. or end May, early June. Ideally, it should be out by elections. And then okay. we go all around Kenya after dubbing it into their languages. We're going to, we will be in Nairobi, we'll go to Nyanza, Rift Valley, um, Coast Province, and uh, Western. My, hold up, me, I'm still stuck on this nine line. Yo. And so. Hey, okay, okay, <laughs> that's okay. Why we, that's why we are fundraising for it. Because yeah. Because again, we are taking it around for free. Do you remember how we mm. grew up with that thing called Philo? Eh? They put put a projector somewhere. Yes, 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 yes. So yes, that's yes. how we want to distribute it in social halls, open. Air, <gasps> oh my God, in, I absolutely on love that. Social media on YouTube, give it to TV. Like they absolutely free. We want absolutely. people to just watch it. Exactly, and that's why. Oh my God, I'm so excited about. I, I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. my mind is doing a lot of things right now. <laughs> so we are doing all those rounds. We plan to do that before elections because then what's the point? Agreed, 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 agreed. After the fact, um, we are also working with an all female crew oh, hey the only man. The how only was man. that what, what's that like i i will see you when we get out. to the set no but i'm just saying like are you, like in, in anticipation um well i'm very excited about yeah it because like especially if you see the stuff that a lot of women have been doing in yes the arts, yes, yes. It's, no, no, no. It it's is, insane it's monumental yeah so it's i'm, I'm very excited about yeah. that Hish. Yeah. So we are an all female crew. Love I waters. absolutely love that. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. We have a GoFundMe. Just uh -huh. go to Midnight Van short film. Okay. And then we have an M Pesa M Changa. It's not M Ch M Pesa. M Changa. M Changa. Account, got you, got you, got which you. Which is eight nine one three hundred. Eight nine one three hundred. That's the pay bill. Uh -huh. Account number five four zero seven one. Five four zero seven one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh my um, goodness. We are looking to raise a lot of money. Our budget is going going to upwards of 7 million bob. Got you, got and you. so what we care about most is cash or kind. It doesn't really have to be money. Mm -hmm. Ah, so guys can do, uh, they can do in kind. Exactly. Um, so do you okay. have a catering service? Okay. Please offer to cater for our production. Okay, okay. Um, do you have a transport service? Mm -hmm. Offer to transport us either to or from the shoot? Yeah. Or while we are doing the rounds oh, around the, rounds, the country? Yeah. Okay. Do you have equipment? Offer your equipment. We yeah. have crew. So it 
the money aspect is important, but then if you can get it in kind, it's just as yeah, it's just to yeah, it's just to yeah. check, check off the what's on the list. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. yeah. Found, we've partnered up with partnered with a couple of companies. Uh, one of them is called Voice Actors League of Kenya. Okay. Um, they do voiceovers, run by Jennifer Kanare. Okay. And she's helping with the dubbing and the translation part. La, okay, so at least okay, so that's not the, the beginning thing. of legwork. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so the things that we have here and there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you know when you say M Changa, you say go and people get a little scared because they think it's just money. But then you know sometimes we have other things we can offer that is not money. That Agreed. Take Agreed. the money off our shoulders. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I like that. I like that even like in your in your in your pursuit of seeking the money, at least you're able to say. But if you can offset this cost, mm-hmm. then obviously then the budget you know yeah. goes less or whatever. Yes, yes. Nine languages, my God. Listen, I don't I don't know why that's that's like blowing my mind. And you know a little we have forty two. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know why it's blowing my mind. <laughs> it's giving me such um, nostalgia for, like, Lord of the Rings. You know, like, it was, like, in every language on the planet. Yeah. So I'm like, this is so freaking cool. Yeah. Because people rarely think to do it in that way so that it's impactful, especially to in certain communities where as much as, yes, 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 people speak English there, but mm-hmm. it hits different when yeah. it's in their mother tongue. You know what I mean? Yeah. It hits completely different, yeah. and the message sets in more mm. when it's something you know when it's a language like, yeah foreign. exactly yeah. Yeah. i really my goodness i'm so excited and even the like the cause of like the social holds because that's okay us in baringo <laughs> where oh, i come where from I where, where i come from to time. date right now every saturday um 7 to 10 p.m mm-hmm. In the shopping center of Kabarondo itself, there's like a kahol, literally, and they're still playing Vanda movies, and it feels like you know what I mean. Like people are like by the door, like you know, like mm-hmm. squashing themselves. So I'm like, this is really quite something, yeah. because that's still a massive, massive way to get your message across. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, I mean, when the hey people are still watching Vanda in Baringo, that should tell you <laughs> <laughs> the guy has stopped acting, yeah. but our guys are still. You know what I mean? Yeah, that is. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like I want to go on tour with you guys like for the Please whole journey. Come, you're welcome. Just Come like, I'm like, well and food. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but this is saying I'm like, oh my god, this yes. sounds like so much fun. Yes. And you know that's not such a bad idea because we also need help with facilitators. Can yeah. You speak your oh yeah. So yeah. when you go down there, you could be our facilitator, mm-hmm. our guy on I, the ground. I, I will get to the guy on ground. Oh, Usi Jali. Usi Usi Jali. Oh my god, that's yeah. actually fantastic. Thank you. My goodness, that sounds awesome. So, you guys want you want to air this just before election time yes. um, and do these rounds before then. Um, what what are your hopes like what what are you aiming to achieve with getting this message out just before like like what is the alert kenyans to the fact that there is in misinformation you okay. shouldn't trust people blindly okay um, there is a whole aspect of civic empower- empowerment. Mm-hmm. I think civic education stopped for some reason. Mm-hmm. It did. <laughs> and things, is, things are just discussed within the cities. Yeah. Like back in Turkana, they do what they think everyone else is doing. Yeah. yeah. You know, so there is also civic empowerment because we want... We want to get our Kenyans a bit more learned, you know, yeah, about yeah. machinani. Yeah. Um, mm. We are looking to collect data okay. because it's really important for us to see where, who sees our film, what impact it had, it has on them. Okay. Um, and we're also looking to have schools named after us. <laughs> because we can get the for our country. I mean, that, that, that would be cool too. That would be cool too, yeah. I see the project. To that friend of yours, I told him I want to Wangara and Mazai the heck. Out, out of, of my art. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ideally, That's what's up. You know, it's good to make the money. It's good to be, be famous. But then, what's the point of dying and you haven't done something with your art? Mm-hmm. You gotta mm-hmm. leave a, people, right? to leave a footprint. Yeah, yeah. you gotta leave a footprint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As, as much as we know, it's not. It's not like people will watch Midnight Van and then the next day everyone just be like, oh, well, we're, yes. we're so woke. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're so woke. But yeah. you know, it's a, <laughs> it's a thing that you, you start. You just start cultivating yeah. that mindset. Um, okay. Slowly yeah. and surely, because um, one thing that I would love is is for someone in Kenya who has a friend in, let's say, Zambia, and there's uh-huh. elections next year in Zambia, yeah, yeah. and it's like, yo, yo, check out this movie. Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of it's kind of relevant to what's going what's on going in on your, in your country, country right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, if it starts from Kenya, it starts growing slowly, but surely, man, I have so much faith in Africa as a continent. It's just the thing that always breaks down our faith is um, all the nonsense around... Around no, tall, obviously, like, which, is, which and and hundred percent correct. That is actually correct. Somebody said the other day they were like, "Listen, we're in the process of the scramble for Africa, and the scramble for Africa right now is from the arts. Mm. Everyone is coming in here because they're trying to 
get involved. Mm. You know what I mean? So mm. we have to be very, as people in the creative industry, mm. it is literally officially, yeah. officially our time and responsibility yeah. to tell the stories and the realities as they're supposed to. And we can As opposed around. to the cover up. <laughs> yeah, example, we can sit around and watch what happens and not create anything. Exactly. And then some WYT person <laughs> put a movie about in their version of the story. 100%. Yep. So it's about time we start telling our stories the way we see them. And the way we experience them as yeah. well. Because mm. I'm like, we need to, like, because people assume that, oh my God, because, you know, this, you know, there's this happening the, in, in, there's some violence happening in this specific region, blah, blah. They just assume that the, that the result of that is, everybody's homeless everybody's dying I'm like no sometimes in most and, and even from what this film is telling us is yes there's all this happening outside um, this media house but what's happening inside is the complete opposite you know what I mean because people are dealing with their, like that it's, it's a very personal experience they're having that has nothing to do with what's happening externally mm. you know what I mean which I think yeah I like that Okay, okay, okay. Ish, to kona e to na juwa to nisoma. Can our folks please Apparently. recognize yes. that their school fees did not go to waste? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. So and then outside of like um, you guys like putting it out um by the time of elections and getting that message across. What what would be your biggest takeaway as creators of Midnight Van? Oh. Biggest takeaway so far, prior um, to even you guys shooting, what have you gotten out of it so far? Gotten out of it, like as people, what we have learned off of trying to put the film together. You mean? Yes, but even as indiv- like even individually, like experiencing and learning about the character and sort of like your character the, development process. The need for independent media. Okay. It's something that we maybe take for granted. We think, oh, media stations cost so much. Yeah. It needs a mm-hmm. ba- someone to bankroll, but it, this little independently owned media station. Yes, yes. Independent media is really important for a nation. Yeah. Because then they're not scared of which feathers to ruffle. Like, you know? <laughs> we ruffle all of them. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's what I've seen. Okay. Most, that's what I've gotten, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And for you on a personal level, playing the character of Martha, mm-hmm. what has that been or planning to mm-hmm. or learning about her? So I like how, see, he wrote Martha in a very interesting way. Like in one of the opening scenes, it's a very freaky scene where she gets a call and then she looks some type of way and then goes and does the news. And then later on in the film, you realize that call she got as she was announcing news that there's a building that burned. Yeah. Her husband was in there. She was told her husband burnt in a building. Oh. But she still went and did news. Still did not say anything. Did not react. Yeah. Until this nigga pushed her to some point is when she said, by then, you know, this is what happened. Happened, yeah. So I like that he, she's he's written her in a very normal female, African female way. That's how we... Who handle things. You understand what I mean? Oh, you it's not you, a, you, you handle... Answer. Yeah, you start wilding out. And I'm not saying you don't react. <laughs> <laughs> I just say he's written her in a way that is not stereotypical of how yes. we, we see people yeah. show African women out. I love it. Yeah. I love hey. it. <laughs> That's this is what you're excited about. Did you know? I don't know. I'm all, I, 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 I do a lot of people watching. Okay. I, I okay. like watching people and I like listening to just people speaking. Sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. I can sit for like an hour with people and not say a word. Whoa. Just listening and then I start replaying those conversations. Like, why do people stand like this when they want to say something about this? Or why do they lean back okay. and stuff like okay. that? So those were the things that were informing how how um, the, uh, the dialogue between Mark Martha and, and Juma was, yeah, going, yeah, I was because, going to go, yeah. Because literally when I'm writing dialogue, it's based on there is this idea in this scene. So let's let's see how it goes. Yeah. And just let the characters go back and forth and say like fifty pages and then scrum it down to like twelve and be like, Okay, this now makes more sense for My. brevity purposes. Got you, got you, got you, got you. But for you, what's your takeaway with Juma? Mm, I think uh I feel like Juma Juma to me represents those those men who only <laughs> have only will address something when it's right up on their face like you can always you can always bypass some guys some guys have a way with words yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they can they can BS their way through something everything yeah 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 100% but when 
you have nowhere to go and and that's the reason why them being trapped in uh, in this office was yeah. so crucial for Juma's evolution as a character yeah. because he could have easily just been like ah Martha I don't have time for your nonsense and just I'm left, out yeah. but now he's being forced to confront his demons to confront himself yes which to me is uh, because currently um, I've been in uh, for the last like one year uh -huh. I've been in this zone for confronting myself like no why okay. do you say these things like this yeah. why do you act like this so yeah. that's what I really love about Juma that he finally had to face he finally Self. had to face himself yeah and because we can't tell them the ending <laughs> you can't don't so yeah but it's a really good ending to that journey i think interesting it's really yeah. so and I, I think i think that's that that's what i just from reading just the general plan in this room. i myself was like hey even you sandra you need to start asking yourself why the, you know, A, B, C, D is like this and like that. You know what I mean? So I like mm -hmm. the fact that even for you guys as the main characters and the people who created um who are, who are, who are creating and doing the and doing the, the, the film, it's also something you, you like you've elevated on a personal level. Which I think is what is going to happen with everybody who's gonna watch this mm -hmm. in whatever capacity. Probably you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I've not even watched it and I'm like I need to just start doing better I need to be a better human being Sandra please let's just <laughs> you know what I mean so I'm like that's that's really really impactful and so congratulations guys thank you thank so much you. we are speaking awesomeness into the film yes. it's going to go ama it's going to go freakingly amazingly we're going to raise all the money yes eh? we'll. Mm -hmm. then we'll do a bashment afterwards <laughs> <laughs> transcend the continent exactly mm -hmm. yes. those were speaking those into existence absolutely, okay absolutely. yeah but thank you guys so much for coming through man thank you for having thank us for having it's us. been lit it was really nice. i love and i hope that everybody who's been listening mume scare messaging yeah muse mm -hmm. no then you come back and tell us but you know this film ah, 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 ah. We have given you the plan. Sure. Please go in with your mind ready Last to planning. be awesome. Uh -huh. Yes, please check out our social media if you have missed any of the information. Go find me or yes. the Mchanga links. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice giving you all through and at Nick Ndeda. All through. All through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sharp. I'm, I'm gonna page uh, the film itself. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for coming through. Thank you. This was awesome. Yes, it was. I am my guys. We're gonna get into some music as we start getting ready for our Friday Shandani Guns because I know it's been it and IK has been really, eh? He's really taking us there. Huh? So you guys, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. DJ K, take away. You guys, you're on the stage with Sandra. You're tuned. Icon Radio. Welcome back, guys. You're on the stage with Sandra. And James. Uh, James, uh, James was listening to Jipox, okay? <laughs> because he was hearing all the banter I was having with Nick and, and Nice. And he listening to Jipox and bring his personal opinions, as usual. This is our show. Unwarranted. By force. <laughs> <laughs> so now, James, the yes. Oscars happened um, this weekend. Ah, the slap. Hey! The, the slap. The slap. <laughs> So for the guys who missed it or not caught on, basically, um, Chris Rock was introducing um, Will Smith um, for winning the award for the biopic he did for the for the Williams, Serena and Venice and Venus Williams' dad called Richard. Yeah. So the the movie is called King Richard. Have you watched it, by the way? Not yet. You, uh, I, I need to watch you. it. Now. I, need to I watch was it like, now. this is, this is <laughs> the kind of parenting everybody needed. You needed, you needed a parent who already saw your vision for your life and did everything yeah. in his power to work towards it but, but I, i've actually seen job. documentaries about how they were brought up we, yeah i'm telling you richard williams <laughs> understood the assignment from the day yes, his daughters were born yes, he got yes, it yes, yes, he was yes. like missy batishi and and i remember there's this uh video that was going around on on twitter i think uh -huh. and uh it's kind of famous on youtube yeah of uh i think it was serena being interviewed when she was so young yeah yeah, yeah. and the um the um, the, the journalist actually was harassing her. Hey, uh -huh. the dad. The dad <laughs> and he was like, ah, I'm gonna, you're, that, if, in fact, that scene is actually captured in the movie. He's uh -huh. like, what do you mean? Yes. yes. No, no, I love it. I love it. So, mm. rightly so, he deserved to win that Oscar. And I think it's his first Oscar, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, okay. So, it was a really monumental moment. You know, for him as an actor, as for his career, for the story he was telling, you know, it's a black story about, yeah. you know, first black teen, you know, um, um, female tennis players who then hit international global yes. achievement. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which was, people in the Unheard world of. don't really think mm. about tennis. Mm. It's either you're playing basketball 
how much you know that tennis for as who? far as we know you know tennis, the, tennis from where tennis. from where you know what i mean even in kenya do you, even in kenya, kenya yeah, yeah it's who still play like tennis? Yes, who's, who who plays who tennis in the of who do you know umoja is going to be taking the kid for tennis training you know what i mean yes Every it's deep, day. It's deep. Yeah. so the, the what he saw and i feel like it i hope it's inspired a lot of other parents as well to just <laughs> stop putting your kids in boxes based on That's, their race yeah. like they can literally do anything mm-hmm. anyway so that's what comes Chris Rock is um you know he's on there so Jada um Will Smith's wife has been suffering from alopecia yeah. so she's lost her hair so that sexy blonde ni 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 at the table image <laughs> so she's new at bold and this was like her first i guess big um uh, hollywood appearance yeah in her bald head and everything, and you know, obviously, but you know, Jada, Jada is just a hot mama. Yeah. Even in the Hotel. boldness, I'm like, damn, <laughs> like she's just fine. Like I'm like, this chick could literally wear a gunia on her head, and, she be and okay. I'll still be like, damn, I even me, I'm feeling something. You know what I mean? So yeah. she's dropped dead gorgeous regardless. But you know, mm-hmm. I guess personal insecurities you've had here all your life, blah, yeah. blah blah blah. So her own personal thing. So they're sitting there. Chris Rock is making his jokes, you know, hosting whatever it is. He this is some a couple next to them. And then Will Smith wins. So it's a monumental moment. Yeah. Okay? This is the time at which Chris Chris Rock decides to make a joke about Jada's hair. Yeah. And basically references um G.I.J. G.I.J., yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. And it was one of those moments where because everybody in the audience and obviously everyone who's watching at home, they know she didn't just wake up the morning and decide to shave her head exactly. with this Yes. This yes. is mm. a disease. You know mm. what I mean? Like, it wasn't a choice. It's something, obviously, she's battling. It's obviously um, taking over because, you know what I mean? Like, these are the results of something so, very, very yes. sad. Yes, yes. Mm. And so, it was like, there was that laughter. You know that laughter of, you know, guys are laughing because they're like, okay, 10 years ago, we would have laughed properly because uh, back then, people had no chills. There was body shaming jokes. There was this is on people's physical appearance. It is what it is. But in the era we're living in now, mm. <laughs> that ain't the vibe but you know it was one of those things of, it's funny but we don't want to laugh too hard because Pia it's, it's the Smiths yeah. you know what I mean like you want to be friends with the Smiths so you can see you can see you can see you know what I mean you can see you can see the red table you can see what are you going through so <laughs> so it was that weird laughter even Will Smith himself did a laugh and it's like he laughed before he realized uh, what Chris Rock has uh, said uh, and once it hit him. And I think it, there's, a, there's a scene, if you look at it properly, where he looks down at Jada. And I think he sees his wife's expression. Like, she's like, that. that's not cool. That, uh, that's so funny. And I think mm. it's when he was like, hey, actually, there's nothing funny about this statement. And I guess also because Chris Rock is a really good friend of theirs. Yeah. So he slapped him. And the whole world is like oh my god oh my god what's wrong with what's wrong with will smith what's wrong with will smith you know like you know like people have really caught feelings for will smith saying mm. like ah this wasn't right bro you took mm. it too far nini nini that's too violent me in the back of my mind i was asking myself when is it that we forgot how to stand up for your own because exactly. mimi yeah. can say for free it just let me not even get involved with the family my child mm. one wrong statement <laughs> Me, I'm, like, I don't care whether we're in the supermarket. Whether, I'm coming for you. Like, real, like, to, to, to Nanda. You know? So, in my mind, when everyone was, like, in their feelings about, oh, well, we should not have done that. It's too violent, blah, blah. I was like, you guys, any sensible man, yeah. anybody talks about your wife, and not even just as a joke, about her disease. Exactly, yeah. Best believe you deserve even that slap was subtle. Cool. Inge kuapa in the 254. <laughs> 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 what song you by now? <laughs> like they would like I was like, I don't understand why everyone is in their feelings. I'm like Chris Rock, these are your personal friends. Yeah. So, so it's it's, he, it's even worse. Knows, so you know knows, yeah, the then you yeah. think you're gonna make a joke in that, the moment when this guy is winning his that first Oscar. Was insensitive. Like I'm like you mm. you deserved yeah. a slap and more. I even wish other men in that audience could have stood up and said, yeah. Bro, mm. Apple, nah, negative. But you know what I mean? So everyone is like in their feelings about it. I'm like, am I wrong in saying he deserved a slap and more? Because me, that's what I'm feeling. He actually deserved the slap. Because right? that that was very very insensitive you can't joke about someone's health like that especially when it's something that um they might be sensitive about exactly uh, you can't joke about someone's health J- just make other people laugh and probably make, make a back or something do you yeah? get it's 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 it was uh, just uh, unnecessary and then you know like even in the realm of jokes mm. 
Okay, I, I, I do agree that to a certain extent the world has become too sensitive. You see, yeah. if we think back of like a kin, um, Eddie Murphy, um, what's his name, the little small one with the... Um, Cat Williams. Cat Williams. <laughs> Those guys, they were dissing you for being fat. You know what I mean? Like, it hey, was Kwanza, Michael Jackson. Do you know, like, <laughs> like, 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 they took it far. They took it far, yeah. You know what you I mean? Like, especially even if you had any scandals, like, oh, so do you, you know, like, you were, you were less true, blah, blah, blah. They were making jokes of such yes, things. Yes, yes, yes. And we used to laugh and mm. buy their tickets and go for their concerts. Mm. But I feel like right now, there's a level of sensitivity that the world has gotten to that's too far. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm like you guys, you're 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 too much in your feelings, because even people say no, 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 that was too violent, blah blah blah. And now they're trying to paint Will Smith as this um you know, like, savage, person. savage mm, black man, man. who's mm. just attacking. I'm like you guys, listen, shut up, because in my mind I'm like no, 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 kindly. <laughs> so this man mm. has, has just won his first Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> for a role that defied everything black. He has put out content for us for yeah. decades yeah, that have been yeah. incredible. Yes. Was never yes. recognized. Mm. In his moment of winning, mm. his fellow colleague in the arts, in the in the acting world, mm. and personal friend <laughs> decided that was the time to make a joke about his wife's <laughs> disease. <laughs> like, I'm like, what else was he supposed to do in that moment? You know, like, because in that moment, I'm like, Chris Rock, you've taken away from the fact that I've won an Oscar. Yeah. You've taken away from the importance of the movie I did. Yes. You've now also taken away from the disease that my wife has because she's letting, uh, in her showing up at the Oscars in this way, yeah. she's letting anybody else with alopecia know. By the way, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, exactly. And you're yeah. still beautiful. Without you're a wig. taking away Without, out mm, of all those things. Mm. To make a joke, like how does that even make sense to you? We are literally and they deserve that much to see. That's why I've checked because I've seen there's a website that's open that is slap slapper Chris. <laughs> Where <laughs> slap? I swear it's on right now. www.slapacris.com <laughs> and it's a palm. <laughs> Chris, Chris Rock's face on the other end and then like a measurement. Uh, so you swipe and then he tells you how many kilometers and you hit that guy's surah with. I was like, whoever's created that was an even him and a jua. He knows this, that guy was wrong. There's this spot um, for slapping each other. Yes. I, I think it will be popular now. It's going to become a thing officially. It ain't so you're not going to get Olympics. No, uh, <laughs> and then you guys, let's oh, get into music with DJ AK. We'll be back in a few. This is the stage. You're tuned in to Icon Radio. All right, Dream Team, welcome back here on the stage with Sandra on Icon Radio. And James. Uh-huh. Now, remember earlier on, you guys, um, we had um, Nice and Nick Denda here promoting uh, Midnight Van. So, like we rightfully said, we're trying to raise funds to be for them to be able to execute and do this project amazingly. So, we need all you all to come through. Um, you need to go to the M Changa account. And so, on account number, you put 891300. And account name will be 5. 4071. We're trying to raise funds to do this epic project to get people to understand we need to change the status quo of voting in the 254. Yes. And elections in general because what we to want ban politicians went to work on extra extra extraness that makes no sense according as far as I'm concerned. Sasa baba last week I uh, we, we spoke about um diamond 31st. And he's 31st years old. <laughs> <with us. laughs> All right? So I went and continued the show because I was like, I actually need, I need to understand Wagwan. <laughs> Let me tell you. So the women on that show, mm. they're supposed to be like boss mamas, high achievers, independent females, eh? mm. doing the most. But one thing I've realized, and I don't know if you've been watching it, one thing I've seen religiously with each episode each lady is first of all in some hectic pursuit of some man mm-hmm. so already I'm like e level in your independence it makes sense because you're really out here really chasing uh. a bunch of so I'm not even understanding what they're trying to put out but one thing that struck me that I was so bothered so there was um, Kanye Mbao and Zari so Kanye is from SA big big um mm. Artist, Mas- Zari. artist Mas- Zari, we know Zari. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So in the middle of their conversation, Zari was like, you know, so they popped some champagne. Then Zari is like, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, the why we're, why we're boss women, blah, 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 is because um, we can buy our own champagne, but doesn't mean, you know, that we don't eat like, and we can afford it. So she goes on this whole rant about mm-hmm. champagne. Mm-hmm. And then Kanye, or, you know, they do that um, individual um, videos yeah. they give it like somebody gives their take on the scene yeah. this chick proceeds to say 
At here, you know, at the end of the day, um, if a man comes through and he wants to show you he's a boss, he'll buy you bottles of champagne. And what must you do after that? You must twerk. Sasa mini kaka. And what started poking my head is in my mind, I was like, one, when did Africans decide that the benchmark for us for wealth is champagne? I don't know when that happened. I'm like, listen, my guys. And then, you know, if, if you're no. drinking a rare champagne that there's only six bottles that were made in the world, and it's you know it's been in a in a in a French, I don't know under underground, I don't know what for the last thirty years. Got you, got you. Uh, got you. No more champagne. Moe enyiko apatu na ivasietu. No like what your pressure. Spatting water. You know what I mean? I was like, yo, 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 yo. And then I was like, in the state before I had to make, I was like, mom, there's so many impressionable girls mm. watching this show yeah. now because it's young, rich, yes, and famous. You yes, know what yes, I mean? Yes, An African, yes. I mean. So many. Mm. But what you're literally actively telling them is if you want to know a man, first of all, he's a boss. Yes. And number two, he deserves your time. He should buy you champagne. I was like, guy, Jesso. Where? And remember, this but, is the same lady who on the show told us, she's, she's got a 15-year-old daughter. Yeah. And the daughter has her own apartment. She's mm. 15 years old. Where? Okay. Lives next door to the mom in her mm. own house. Uh, okay. And she was like, I just wanted to express herself. So already, oh, 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 you're urging oh, Africans the wrong way with that, with that okay. confession. 15 years. 15 years <laughs> in her own apartment. That where <laughs> you stay there, I'm staying here. It is what it is. And, her own expression. At least to express herself and be independent. I was like, what? So already you've asked Africans uh, and most people in the world the wrong way with that situation. Mm -hmm. Then you proceed to tell us, if a man buys you champagne, you must work for him. What? But th there's some truth in that. Listen, fam. <laughs> no, 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 no. And maybe, 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 maybe <laughs> this is the kale in me, like the old schoolness in me. Me, I still find a lot of value in mm. land. If those women were sitting there saying, I've just bought a property mm. in, in, in Victoria, I've got another one in Tanzania, I'm currently um, in... If, if, I, if I bought you land, would you talk for me? Hundred percent, you've given me a piece of the earth, uh. literally. <laughs> so life, like that is literally a piece of the earth so, so that's under but, my name. But no champagne. I, I'm talking, and I can, and then to make it worse for them uh, to say, you can I can buy my own champagne. Uh. So I'm like, mm, mom, you're talking for this guy over something you can buy for yourself. So, so Kindly. your point is, your point is, um, le, um no, that's my point. Lens differ. So of course it, it's, lanes it's differ. for example, uh, if I if I buy uh, someone here, um. Chapodondo down here, yeah. they might work for me. At the same time, if I buy for you land, you might work for me. No, no, for but her, what I'm, no, I'm not saying... Probably for, that's her. No, no, no. What I'm saying is mm. what they're depicting on the show mm. as bosses, yeah. they own empires, they've got careers and blah, blah, blah. You cannot take all those accolades of yours yeah, and, then, and diminish them to a bottle and, of champagne. champagne. Do you understand? That's my argument. Okay, okay, it's okay, okay, okay to okay, do okay, the chapa. Okay. If yeah. the chick wants to talk with, yeah. that's okay because that means, because that's what you're saying, there's lanes. Okay, yeah. But I'm like, mm -hmm. the lanes these women are supposed to be are telling us they're at mm. cannot for the, I cannot for the life of me believe that it equates to a bottle of champagne. I'm like, come on now. <laughs> on one of the dinners, Zari went and gave him a ring, I think, from Katia. Mm. You can buy this man, your ex, mm. a ring from Katia, but, but you're happily, confidently telling me you, you want somebody to buy you champagne. What are you talking about? <laughs> you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm like, he's only Ghani, honestly. The mouth is not mouthing. The mouth is not mouthing, kindly. I was like, what's happening here? Anyway, so that's so and I think and I think that's a lot of my issues with that show. Like, um and even now as we started, I think when I got to episode three, four a lot of those women also are very, very broken in terms of the things they've been subjected to with men. Yeah. To the certain extent where I feel like their their commitment and pursuit of the men is not mm. necessarily because they want to mm. be in relationships. It's because the way the media has constantly said, ah, you can't keep a man, you can't keep a man, you can't keep a man. So there's this pressure uh, for them to of keep we a need man. to have a yeah. man. And keep, so it may yeah. not even be the one you want, but mm. you're just your own missions because you need to maintain some sort of like vibe. And I was like, listen, what should have happened with this show is they should have been a constant therapist <laughs> to start helping our big African rich famous ones start dealing with their internal demons. Because mm. when you watch the show, I'm like, hey, you want to, you need a lot of you need therapy because the things you've got going on, <laughs> it's a lot. Diamond to sit there and say publicly, I think I have six kids. I think, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. And then to say Zari is the love of my life, but I can't be with her because I'm a player. Ooh, Nasema. You know what I mean? Like I was, <laughs> I was like, what? 
<laughs> this other situation, me first of all, my, my image was so tainted for of Two Face. Uh, oh so yeah. Really Two Face. Since the first time I but, had. But even with the, with the name Two Face. Ah, Kwenda Uko. <laughs> Kwenda Uko. I had. Let me tell you, for me, he was this incredible. You know, like for like he was like he was a man's man. Yeah. And then his talent level mm. and the way he's always so calm in yes. interviews, yes. his yes. opinions on things, like he's very straightforward. <laughs> so to come to this show and his wife to say, uh uh-uh, uh, even before I had my first child, he already had five kids. <laughs> I was like, you want to Goja 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 as in Mimi Ujanizalisha and Tano half a football team already. I was like, let me tell you my na that man, level man, of man, messy. Man, 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 man. I was so ashamed, I was like two face, you can't sing African Queen <laughs> and you're out here trauming Peter for all parties involved. <laughs> I uh, uh, let me tell you. Okay, I mean, I love the fact that we've been exposed, mm. and we can. And I like even even now the imaging of 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 how they've shown Africa to be is yeah. really top. Because yeah. I feel for anybody who's watching it from outside of this continent, they're going to be like, "Goja, this is, Afri- this is how Africans live." I'm like, "Yes," because mm, I'm so we, tired we don't of live seeing on, the baby on top with of trees, a fly, with, uh, na makamasi. <laughs> si juu watu anenda kuchota maji na majerikani zimechafuka. <laughs> I'm so tired of those images. Yeah. I love the fact that we can see. Yes, we can go to a Cartier store. Yes, we've got Lamborghinis and private jets. Mm-hmm. I'm like, these things are happening on a daily basis on this continent. You know what I mean? Mm. I freaking love that. But those chiles, hey, I was like, please, <laughs> the, to the producers of this show, <laughs> let's siphon the talent next time. <laughs> better. No, but, but this ain't it. entertainment. It's all for entertainment. I get numbers. You, but you see, it's entertainment. Plus. I'm like, how many numbers are numbers? But I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm Karun is famous, she's got numbers, probably, but she's got a sense. The way, the way you didn't know um, the story is uh, behind Two Face, probably Karun Pekon has Nini. Okay. Uh, that's not a lot of music. Karun has a lot Wow. Anyway, you guys, let's get into music with AK because James has come again to trauma for me. Um, so no, Karun, I love you, Bede, Karun. <laughs> <laughs> you're the love of my life. <laughs> you guys are on the stage. <laughs> Icon Radio. Hey guys, this is Sandra. You're back on the stage on Icon Radio. And James. Sasa. Mm-hmm. Last this week on Tuesday, there was the Jollof Derby. Jollof Derby. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. First of all, I think it was like a week or two weeks prior to this match, Ghana versus Nigeria for Yeah. Mm. And the Matusis online were already elite. I was like, hey, this is the first time Kenyans cannot participate in the Battle of West Africa. <laughs> we were left out. And let me tell you, because already, mm. okay, you see for the rest of this continent, yeah. differentiating between a, a, a Ghanaian and a Nigerian, yeah, it's, it's very it's, hard. It's very hard, for yeah. us, mm. It's one person. West Africans. And they mm. get really annoyed with that. Because when you meet a gun and gun, you're like, hey, so you know which part of Nigeria are you from? They're like, I'm not from Nigeria. They always get super sensitive. And you're like, relax, man. Like, what is it? Because you know, at least with East Africa, we can really differentiate between yeah. a Tanzanian, a Ugandan, Uganda and a Kenyan. Kenyan yeah. It's mm. very, very clear. Mm. It's not the same thing in West yes, Africa. Like, like for us, it's the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> And then you just know there's a certain Israeli that you're just like, what? You're like, definitely, definitely from TZ. Ugandans. Ugandans. Uh, for the women, of course. Big. Wow. Wow. Behinds wow. That we love. Beehives. <laughs> I know the real beehives. Yeah. Anyway, so this big match mm. was going down. So already like the build up of the tension mm. was top. Even with some of our own um locals. Cause you know, like with Chiki Bian's wife being half naked. Yeah. She was already taking sides. She was like, ah, this guy is oh, like already on her Instagram. So I was like, okay, this is this is clearly deep. <laughs> now, when it was coined the Joel of Derby, I really laughed because for a lot of times, yeah. the two countries are always fighting between whose Joel of is better. Is Nigerian I, 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 I think than Ghanaian? Nigerian, Nigerian. I've, I've eaten both. Okay, but I think Nigerians, Nigerians has um, a lot of spices, which I like. As in Chile, because they, Chile, have, a lot, yeah, they have a lot of pili pili. Yeah. yeah, it's. <laughs> you have to be prepared before you eat. Oh, it's. No, it's like, <laughs> like, like a jug full of water. Yo, 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 yo. And I think that's but, my fear just with the West African food in general. Because they're really about yeah, mm, that yeah, chili life. Pepper, and I'm like, I can't, pepper, I cannot ooh. deal with this pepper story. Mm, mm, can't but do anyway. It. Mm-hmm. So this match happened. So now it became so serious that to the point where um, the Nigerian military went to the Ghanaian border. Mm. And now. 
now set up like um what are they called the big cars the army uses what are they called tanks tanks, tanks yeah. uchokozi tu like this is the severity of the uchokozi bwari himself after being missing in his country the ninja is decided i'm showing up to that much like it has gotten to the point of polar like that intense about their their positioning of it okay um we don't even need to address like winners or whatever what i'm saying is the impact this one game had yeah on an entire side of this continent mm. and the continent at large because even now diaspora celebrities yes. people who never yes. even comment on anything sports mm. all of a sudden even yeah. now you could see the level of like the sense of like nationalism mm. because now people who never necessarily went around proclaiming their nigerianness <laughs> were like ah it has to be nigerian Nigeria was the best you know let me like it went far it really just went far and the back of my mind I was like it's so interesting to see because africans we really take our football series yeah mm. we know that obviously with the, like the respective um what do you call them clubs globally blah blah but even them mm. even the times when what's his name um the one for, who used to be at manu who came down for a guinness event uh, theory Henry. No, no, no. no. Okay. Jerry, uh, Henry, yeah, Henry uh, has been here but there's the other one, the 0.5 one, the one whose wife passed away from cancer. I can't remember. And so uh, he was here as well um the time he was doing something with um Guinness at the time as well. And yeah. I kept thinking to myself and in one of his press conferences he was like, "Listen, I play for Manu, so I know mm. my Manu fans." Yeah. And I thought, you know, we've known the extreme of seen the videos, we've seen pictures. But he was like, "I arrived in this country." Yeah. <laughs> and even from the ninja at the, at the in the airplane Even, uh, who was opening the door uh, and flags dropped his to flags uh, he had to come and chop a selfie <laughs> so he was like you guys your level of fanism well, in terms yes. of football is next level have you ever gone to um uh, mashemeji derby okay. gore and they call it mashemeji yes <laughs> and, and fc <laughs> that's when <laughs> And it starts I from it. I don't know because because there, there are different wings uh, of 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 the of the club yeah so you'll see uh, guys coming from Kasarani guys from coming from Gong guys coming and then they um uh, they all meet in town they all meet Tomboya that that, that yes. Katomboya statue yes yeah and have and, a and whole the moment and the banter and the banter yes. is so funny and then they walk sometimes they walk to Kasarani to the, yeah to the stadium no this I know in like drones in drones because yeah. the first time and I did because you know I think I don't even know what I was doing mm. in town on the day I had not known that this was a thing yeah. so I get to um, um to, to around that tomorrow because I was getting I was going to what's that hotel the Hilton Hilton yeah mm. And I was like, and they've painted, yes. they've got the sellers, <laughs> drums, they're wearing those um, um, the skirts for that. Like mm. it was <laughs> hectic, shouting, chanting, abusing people. So <laughs> I was panic because I was like, I thought, you know, when you just assume like, oh my God, oh my God, maybe there's drama yeah. happening in town. Mm. There's like, until I, you know, like, when you get into a cab and you're like telling the guy, let's go, let's go, let's go. He's telling you, relax, it's just what to football. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, it's just there's a match today between MC and Golmaya. And, and this the I was like watching him chezo. Yeah, it's usually and that's those are just clubs. Like they're praying to the tomboy statue. Yeah. <laughs> like me I was so perplexed. I was like I do not understand what's happening here. <laughs> so now that that was the extent of the mm. crazy mm. that was Ghanan um Ghanians and Nigerians um this week. Yeah. And me as usual twitter like i don't know africans and twitter were just it's top tier and i think it's also just because you can re, you have to really think well yeah. of your abuse because it has to be at 140 yes characters. yes others will be so trolled so it has to really yeah. hit the mark in that few words and so when they got on and when i was reading the things on twitter i was like you know what you guys eh? This is how little coups and wars start because <laughs> the extent of the matuti Baka uh, said even stop being about the football. The football the, Now you even attacking the person that oh you know your girls are like this. How oh. successor? Chiles are just chilling by themselves calmly listening to Rema and Siju Kuki. <laughs> All of a sudden the dance were being abused. I was like you guys imagine it's like stop it. <laughs> Ay, yeah 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 it was it was an intense intense week to be an African in mm-hmm. football. Intense. <laughs> Yo So anyway Sasa as we get into um as we start to uh, just before we end in this week as well uh a very weird I don't, I don't know it's it's so weird a very sad situation has happened yeah. Anthony Anderson uh blackish star black, yeah. um from the um the beginning movies of uh, what was it called the barber shop oh, yeah. lit guy 
was one of the pioneers of successful relationships in Hollywood. What happened? What happened? His wife has filed for divorce after 22 years. Now, this wouldn't be a big deal, except for the fact that every black person took a moment. They were like, hold up, you know, this mm. is for us. And Anthony Anderson, Anderson yeah. Denzel, Wash, yeah. Denzel will, for us, they're, they're like the, fa- the, founding, icons the icons of, 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 of black, of the, you know, famous mm, watchers. You know what mm, I mean? Yeah. And you know, and it's black difference. love, and it's you know what I mean. Black, black yeah. love. Also, there's a, there's a series that Oprah did called Black Love, and uh. Anthony Anderson and his wife featured in it. So what she does is she finds um, other outside of celebrities, even just um, ordinary couples, yeah. and then talking about different um, aspects of being in a relationship as black people in love. You know, in terms of finances, career, family, blah 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 blah. Yeah. And he featured on one of the seasons, and so when this news broke, I, <laughs> me. I myself, I got in my feelings because I'm like, did you cry? Did you cry? Anthony Anderson can't make it. What about me? What about me Sasa, I was like, you guys, because already when, we, when the whole thing happened with Smith and entanglements and uh, we were all stressed. The, because exa- we yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. They survived, made it through, have come back bigger and stronger. So I'm like, who? <laughs> When Dr. Dre is silly, but everyone was like, ah, it's fine because that she goes, why? You know, naturally, that, yeah, that was the yeah, Everyone yeah, was like, eh. Yeah, he needed yeah. to find himself a black queen. Then he would uh, file for divorce. Mm. So when Anthony, uh, and you know now it's different because when the man files for divorce, mm. you can say love the end of a child. You know, like, yeah. it's usually more forgivable. For, yeah. But for the woman to say, I've had enough and I'm out, <laughs> I was like, Anthony, <laughs> sir, you created a whole new series, Blackish. <laughs> Around black love and black family. <laughs> now we will end up As in wife, you have I've had enough of your antics. We don't even know what the antics are yet. With all, with all that money. With all that, like, but she has decided to. She's opted out. <laughs> when, the, when, the, when the scandal comes out, I'm very curious to know what happened. What led yeah. Because yeah, I'm like, mm. yo, I'm like, fam, you are one of you are supposed to be a brand ambassador. Be there. So some of these guys, but they, it should be legal for them to divorce. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, listen, just Ghana there. Yeah. Just Ghana. You, you can't, how? It's like Denzel cause, tomorrow waking us up and telling us, I'm here, I'm divorced. Because, you, know, you know, those marriages are not even theirs. It's ours. It's ours. <laughs> it's ours. How can you divorce the us? <laughs> the oh my days. Anyway, you guys, we need to wrap up the show. Imagine, after all the amazingness we've had today, we've got to wrap up the show. Yeah. Um, so we need to let everybody know, tomorrow we've got our second edition of the sports and reggae show at the top yes top tier vibes you guys yes. tell if you're not there for the last one me i don't know i don't know but you need to pull up mm. i might one or two buy somebody mm. a shot here mm. and there mm. the reggae vibes mm. the, no but the voice mm. was sports and reggae at the top with icon radio those, is those, amazing those top notch those top notch manenos top-notch. pull up you guys if you're Wait first. come through how Tonight, comes how comes you remember no, what do you mean how comes you remember things that happened in sports and reggae why, why why should I not remember? Moving forward. Moving on. Yes. Moving on. What's actually to <laughs> Also tonight, <laughs> Sir James over here and his gang gang. Yes. Smuddy Kings, Miss Dusilla from Afterthought. You guys are going to be at the top as well. DJ AKA. And DJ AKA, you are, yes. are going to be at the top as well. For the Friday's event. Uh-huh. Yeah, so Friday's. Friday's. And that's days yes. with D-A-Z-E, <laughs> my niggas. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be fun yeah. vibes as well tonight. Yeah. I mean, the Icon family, anytime, everywhere we pull up, mm. it's just fun. So everybody just needs to be about that life yeah Ama. Um, uh, mm. I know you guys uh yeah so I hope I've set your weekend right already of what you're doing on tonight what we're doing tomorrow tomorrow yeah Sunday mtaj of that's none of my business you can be resting on Sunday for for all I want to know um so you guys catch you next week you've been on the stitch bye I can radio, I can radio.